Technique of the week, lasso guard, right? We're gonna show you two kind of ways to hit this depending on what this person does. Obviously you can really dive into this a lot, but if we're doing this off of a closed guard, I managed to get control of their uh, sleeves. I'm going to look to open up my guard, start posting on their hips, and I'm going to look to turn onto one of my hips at this point, right? My far leg is simply just gonna be used as a post, meaning I'm just keeping this foot here, I'm keeping it from getting close to me. Ideally, I want to maintain both sleeves until I actually have the full lasso set up, just to again, maintain that control. The other arm where my leg is already positioned up, what I wanna do is I'm going to kind of stretch them out a little bit with this leg to again, keep them at bay. I'm going to kick this leg through, come all the way around, bring my foot under his armpit. I'm going to shoot this leg nice and deep to make a good deep connection. And then what I wanna do is actually kind of go live with my foot, flex that foot a little bit. And as I pull my knee to my chest, I should realistically pull him in a little bit. Now, at the same time, I'm going to take the grip that I had on his sleeve. I'm going to tuck my hand to my pocket and I'm going to keep my elbow nice and tight. This, and then uh, last thing, I'm keeping my knee up high, right? This is a lockdown point to where, again, if Cash starts trying to pull that arm free, I've got it completely locked. It's not going anywhere. What I don't necessarily want to do is when I do get this lasso, I'm not looking to square up right away. This, I mean, you can do this position from here and you can get stuff from here, but this makes the grip a little bit less vulnerable. You'll notice that he has a little bit more room now to start kind of working his arm free. Whereas when I stay on this angle and I really drive this knee outward, I'm able to really lock down this arm. So it's a better position for me to be in, right? Now, I've got the sleeve here, I've got the lasso locked down, how do we start setting up the sweep? Well, a couple ways that this can happen. One, maybe I lost this grip, right? Or even with the grip, I feel Cash starting to go for this leg and he's trying to clear this hip, right? A lot of people, when they feel the lasso guard out of habit, they want to go away from the pressure, which is normal. Realistically, if we're trying to defend the lasso guard, some of the best escapes are done by actually going to the lasso side. But newer people, you're gonna go towards the, away from it. If I feel him looking to clear this foot, I'm gonna let him clear that leg. And as he circles around, I'm gonna to look to scoop the thigh. Or you can kind of bait him. I tend to do it this way a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do is start pushing with this foot. When I feel him push back into me, I'm actually going to release that foot off his hip and bring it all the way across to the opposite hip. At the same time, I'm going to dive and look to scoop underneath his thigh nice and tight. This lasso is going to stay tight. I understand that my foot is not necessarily on his hip anymore but I'm keeping my elbow and my wrist tight to my hip. What I'm looking to do at this point at the same time is I'm taking my knee, if Cash were to back off, I'm taking my knee and I'm looking to bring it all the way down to the ground, right? When I do this and I start pulling the knee this way, Cash's weight's gonna go forward. Obviously he's gonna resist this and start trying to sit back. That's why this grip is important. The same time that I'm bringing my knee to the ground, I'm taking his thigh or I could grab the pant legs, whichever you prefer. But as I bring my knee down, I'm going to start elevating his hip and I'm taking him all the way up and over and I'm looking to sit up at the same time. Now, if we're just going for like quick submissions from here, if I were to just sit up, I can get a nice bicep slicer, right? Um, but realistically, since that's not legal in most competitions, when I come up, I'm going to release that hand, actually go to look to go for a cross face. I'm going to kind of switch my feet. And ideally, if I can maintain a shin pin, that's great. I can secure the side control and we go from there. So one more time from the top, right? Whether you start in closed guard or I start with my feet post on his hips, it doesn't matter. I'm going to turn onto my side. If they feel like they know lasso guards coming and they're tucking their elbow to their side, I can push off their hip and stretch this arm out. And then again, I can secure the lasso, get it nice and tight, square up if I need to kind of make any adjustments and then come back to my hip. And then again, give him a little bit of resistance as he pressures back in. I switch the foot, I scoop the thigh, bring my knee. And again, we come up and over and we get the sweep. Now, part two of this, maybe we've tried this a couple times or they're just a little bit more experienced and I start going for the lasso and they look to just stand up right away, right? They don't want to get swept, so they start to stand up. Or maybe we were already kind of in an open guard from here. I got both sleeves and I secured the lasso from here, right? I can still hit the lasso sweep, but I got to get control of this far leg. Now, I'm still going to maintain control of this sleeve as I start kind of working myself over. And what I'm looking to do is once I release the sleeve, I'm reaching to grab his ankle. The same time that I grab his ankle, I now want to take the same side hip. I'm trying to just pull myself as tight as I can. Once I've secured this close distance, I'm gonna switch from an ankle grip to a pant sleeve grip. At this point, now that I've locked this down, I'm keeping this foot posted on his hip, I'm keeping the lasso guard, I'm gonna start bringing my knee to the mat, not with the intention to sweep him, but I just want him to start posting exactly like this. At this point, now I'm going to push off his hip as I lift up on his pant legs, continuing to drive my knee down, and then from here, once again, we can completely come up and we get the sweep. So, all the way from the top, right? Either I started from here or he started on his knees. Either way, we've ended up into a standing position. I've got one arm in the lasso. I'm going to reach for the far ankle, pull my hips in nice and tight. Again, keep this lasso tight the whole time. Otherwise, he's gonna be able to just run away. Once I've secured the ankle, I'm gonna switch again to the pants. I'm now going to drop my knee to get him to post. The moment he posts, I continue to drive my knee as I now push off his hip, lift up the pants, 
and we get the lasso sweep from there. So those are two variations of the lasso sweep, depending on if they start on their knees or if they get from a standing position. Give it a shot, stay safe.